I'm Eric Toland. We're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of using the gate valve in your standpipe hookup. Many firefighters may ask, why are we putting a, another valve on top of a valve on a standpipe? This is a key piece because we put a lot of faith in this standpipe outlet that may have never ever been used before. What if that wheel falls off? What if it breaks? Or that outlet itself seizes as you're flushing and you need to shut it down again to then make the hookup? By putting the gate valve on, opening the main valve up all the way, we can then flush through our gate valve and have full control of that outlet. Additionally, we want this in our kit because if we have to put a second line in operation from the floor below, you can bring that hose straight up to this floor, the control floor, and then put the gate valve, the inline pressure gauge on, and one control firefighter can essentially control both lines from this position. And another situation you may use this is if the standpipe fails completely, then you're gonna go to the nearest opening, maybe a balcony on that floor below, close to the stairwell, lower hose out over the balcony down to an engine. And then you're gonna need to use this gate valve and inline pressure gauge on that floor below to control the attack line just as you would from this standpipe outlet. And all of those examples are reasons why it's important to have your own gate valve as one of the pieces in your standpipe kit.